easy work. I'm rich, motherfucker. Like, like I said before, Manny Pacquiao, he cool. He's a young, hungry lion. Floyd Mayweather warns all young fighters to stop worrying about Pacquiao and chase each other and let that old man live. Um, yes, it's up to my promoter, uh, Adam. Do, 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 do. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We work and head over to Patreon. I got it revamped. New tier system. Let's get it. Let's work. That's the next thing I'm going to build or become a YouTube channel member. Hit the join button right next to the subscribe button. Thank you to everybody for the support, for the love. You know, it feels great. Even in the pandemic, we still we still great. The haters can't relate. Now, Floyd Mayweather, I want to talk about this real quick. He did an interview with Fight Hype and, you know, he kind of came to Pacquiao's defense and he said that he doesn't want to see these young fighters chase the old man this is what floyd said and i quote it is sad you hear guys say oh i want to fight Manny pacquiao pacquiao's like 41 years old you young fighters chase each other stop chasing this old man stop chasing this old man motherfucker. if you he says if the opportunity presents itself do what you got to do but let pacquiao pick who he want to fight so he's kind of coming to Pacquiao's defense and saying like, yo, all the young fighters, I'm assuming Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, all these young guys, you know, Danny Garcia, Danny, Danny be, I really don't know if I can add Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia don't, you know, he don't really ever seem thirsty for the fight. He like, and I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm not saying he's not hungry. But what I'm saying is he don't do too much. He kind of stay in his lane and he's down to fight whoever, you know, like he hasn't do every interview where he's mentioned. It. I see him on TikTok and stuff. Danny just be in his lane chilling, you know, chilling with his family and stuff like that. I think he's down to scrap with everybody. But some of the other guys have been a little bit more vocal about fighting Manny Pacquiao from General Santos. Uh, yes, I, I, I believe my fight with um, you know, if, if I come back to yeah, drink this Hennessy if do, 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 do. so let me know what you guys think Floyd said leave him alone you know I don't have too much to say in regards to my opinion I, I will say I guess I got mixed feelings you know because I feel the young fighter like okay you got to look at it like this a young fighter most likely, most guys, I would say, have a, a boxing career and they start at a young age. Most guys, you know, there are exceptions, Sergio Martinez, Deontay Wilder, etc. But most guys start at a reasonable age as a kid. So you can't really do that in one of my standpoints is this. You can't really do that because these guys come up and, you know, all throughout the 90s, let's say early 2000s, you're watching guys like Floyd Mayweather and you're watching Pacquiao. And then you finally come to and, you know, you have your own coming out party and pause and you're doing your own thing as a competitor. Why would you not want to fight Manny Pacquiao? You see what I'm saying? So I feel that from as just as a competitor, this is somebody you grew up idolizing or watching or learning from and now you want to test your skill and you feel ready and you're young and you're hungry nobody can tell you nothing so why would you not want to fight Manny Pacquiao you know or any other legend and that's just kind of how it's been you have to you see Canelo he fought Floyd Mayweather I mean it definitely didn't go his way but he fought him and he wanted the fight and he called out Floyd for a year a year or so or two right he fought the Shane Mosley Carlos Baltimore people that were already relevant when he was just a kid so I, I can't really agree with Floyd 100% because I think that's part of the competition nobody can help that you're from a different generation and Pacquiao is his own age and Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are their own age the other thing you got to look at coupled with this fact is that these guys if you have years in the game like Pacquiao Pacquiao got like over 70 fights you know um, I, I started fighting uh, you know he got a lot of fights so he's been doing it and that name comes with a lot 
you know the name comes with a lot comes with celebrity it comes with fame and you know you'll get your proper your proper respect like if you fight some dude on the way up people are they going to give you the same level of respect you see what i'm saying like let's say for example and i'm not saying me personally but let's say jermail charlo knocks out erickson lubin that was a guy who was you know hungry for the fight and wanted the fight but he doesn't have a pacquiao legendary resume so when charlo knocks him out of course i gave him credit but you're not going to get the same credit as if jermail charlo knocked out sergio martinez or or miguel cotto that's just kind of how it works so i kind of disagree with with floyd here just because i think as a true competitor you don't you're not really looking at people's age and stuff you just want what they have you want to prove yourself you, you see it with devin haney devin haney keep calling out lomachenko and all the top guys ryan garcia young old older you know he don't really care so i think charlo and him wanting to fight canelo and and triple g he's not really doing it because he's trying to fight an old man in that given situation you know i think he wants to prove himself so i think there's more guys more often than not they're trying to prove themselves errol spence knows he'll get credit if he beats pacquiao and he feels that people would doubt him you know so make some good odds and he wants to prove it you know there are some isolated instances where i think people are preying on like older fighters and you know stuff like that like canelo does this where he's like picking guys who look a little bit worn shot worn deteriorated and he's picking them at an advanced age in their career stuff like that but i think you know I, I tend to think that most of these fighters are doing it for the right reason i think people just respect pacquiao so it'll be an automatic respectable win if you could beat him pacquiao looked good versus keith thurman you know he had keith thurman the boy leaking he had ponytail leaking playing the flute in between the rounds so i think that's kind of why these guys are calling him out but i do agree you know in in a certain in a subtle sense with floyd mayweather just based on the fact that pacquiao is a legend in the game and a hall of famer so you know 70 years old i mean not 70 years old damn that'd be old for for the sport of boxing but um 70 plus fights or whatnot so he's kind of earned the right to go out and have entertainment fights with conor mcgregor stuff like that so you know i feel a little bit of both ways but at the end of the day i feel stronger that if you're a champion in this sport and you want the belts and the names and the hardware associated with it the sanctioning belts and all that then you kind of have to fight whoever's available you know more so than hey don't fight him he's 41 years old i mean who else name somebody that's that you could fight in your age group and you won't get the worldwide success and respect as if you can knock out pacquiao you see what i'm saying if crawford or errol spence knocks out pacquiao that would be bigger than if they knocked out each other you know and i'm not saying some regular boxing fans or hardcore boxing fans they might prefer the errol spence versus terrence crawford fight you know they might think that's more of an in prime fight whatever i get that however it doesn't change what i'm saying what i'm saying is my mama know who pacquiao is and she don't watch a lick of boxing she's not going to necessarily know errol spence and danny garcia and terrence crawford i don't think she knows any of them you see what i'm saying so you know people outside of the realm of like real boxing fans hardcore you know common boxing fans know who pacquiao is so no matter what it'll be a, a bigger deal when you fight someone with that type of infamous nefarious name and notoriety now a quick word from a sponsor espn plus holla at the link in the description if you guys want to support the channel you can get espn plus as a standalone tons of shows docuseries looks like some slowly but surely live combat is coming back you can get the espn plus pay-per-views through that link as well or bundle it espn plus hulu and disney plus all three apps one price 12.99 so make sure you guys take a look at that link. And if you're interested, sign up using that link. Now, let me know what you guys think. Floyd Mayweather kind of goes to bat for Manny Pacquiao says, you young boys have it out. You know, leave Pacquiao alone. If you get the opportunity, cool. But don't be thirsting over a 41-year-old Pacquiao. So let me know if you agree with Floyd, if you disagree. Because the funny thing is Floyd probably wants to fight Pacquiao. You know, but they're closer in age. I get it. But it's kind of hard to just say leave pacquiao alone or any fighter that looked like pacquiao i could understand if pacquiao looked worn like if he had never recovered from like the jeff horn loss 
and he just kept looking kind of suspect or bad but i thought he looked good versus broner and i thought he and he was sick in that fight and i thought he looked good versus keith thurman so i think pacquiao's still formidable against anybody with his style let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section if you love what I'm doing, smash the like button as always. Hey, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.